Limpopo River, a lifeline to many farmers living near its banks. But come dry season, most of the river dries up, resulting in low agricultural productivity. Prolonged droughts due to climate change make farming extremely difficult, if not impossible. However, under the seemingly dry riverbed, nature has a surprise. Below the sand lay vast reservoirs of fresh water ready to be used. In the local community, there's a local knowledge where people used to go to the sand and they scoop the holes and they used to drink that water and also to use that water for multiple uses in domestic level. From that local knowledge, we try to see how we can bring the science in order to make it sustainable and also develop the, the local community. So that's why we, we became fascinated and we started to understand the Sand River hydrology system. Now sand rivers are in fact systems that have developed in big rivers through weathering and erosion of rock and then transport of sand over large distances and accumulation in the riverbed. And that storage is very significant. It's nature-based storage that comes, that is replenished every year by a uh, high flow of river water. So already back in 2016, we started working together on, uh, the re on research of these systems. And because there was an idea that there's great potential in these river systems that in some countries is used, but here in Mozambique, it's still heavily underused. And the main idea was to see the, its potential for small-scale irrigation in the, for individual farmers and a water supply of small communities. So around 2019, we built a training program to train trainers at the Polytechnical Institute, who then would uh, further develop those trainings towards these district officers. The training is uh, aimed at capacitating our professionals at ESPG in the technology which was developed for manual drilling of uh, boreholes in aquifers from sand rivers to ensure that there is uh, multiple use services for the development of rural communities. After the training of trainers was done at ESPG, then these trained professionals then go out into the community to train the rest of the community. In this case, uh, we had two TMTs. Uh, the first one, we trained technicals from SDAI, SDPE, from the north of Gaza province, as well as three polytechnic institutions which are here in Mozambique. So with the TMT2, we're training the rest of the province of Gaza, including people from the province, the province and uh, national side. Então existe um grande desafio que é encontrar alternativas para poder assegurar o abastecimento de água às comunidades de todas as épocas. E esta alternativa pode ser encontrada com recurso a águas subterrâneas. E conforme podemos ver, foi bem demonstrado neste treinamento que tivemos no SPG, que em leito do rio seco é possível ter água. One of the best advantages of this system is that it is very simple and all the material can be acquired locally. We have just the normal PVC pipes which can be used in the drilling system. It doesn't require a lot of force in order to drill a borehole, especially when it's in a sandy region. The equipment which is required to extract the water, in this case it's a solar powered pump. The advantage is it doesn't need to use any fuel, so it's really environmentally friendly. And it's easy to, to carry, it's easy to use, which is why anyone can be able to use this technology, even the elderly. To get support in order to allow us to continue with this training, we should have support from the national government, 
because this is all about uh, helping them to achieve what has been planned for the development in different regions of Mozambique. So with this training, I think that we have shown the community and also the local government that yes, it's possible to have the semi-arid areas contributing to the socio-economic development of the country. So the principal question at the end of this TMT, what was the impact? 14 districts were trained in the province of Gaza from the district services, from agriculture and from uh, infrastructure, which are services targeting agriculture in the communities and rural water supply. So other projects also saw the benefits of what we're doing and so we had spin-off from other projects who are adapting the technology. We've got other people thinking the same way that we're also thinking of developing the rural communities. To facilitate uptake, we link the trainings to local suppliers and businesses, such as well drilling services, pump and solar panel supply companies, and potential donor and credit programs. A mensagem que eu tenho perante este curso é de agradecimento, porque aprendemos aquilo que nós não sabíamos. E estamos a ver que isso pode nos trazer, vai nos trazer muita vantagem, vamos produzir muito sem, sem gastar combustível. Então a mensagem é essa, que continuem sempre a dar-nos formações dessa, dessa natureza, que é para despertar o interesse do agricultor. As a result of all this training, there is going to be a center of excellence in ESPD. So there will be more trainings that are going to happen in, in this technology. We want to go nationally and that is um, our intention. Jogamos importante a continuidade desses treinamentos. Daí que nós poderemos estar a responder este déficit. Está de parabéns o projeto, está de parabéns o SPG, todos saímos a ganhar como província. Obrigado.